Hello Year 11, we meet again. Uh, this time we're doing question number four on your quadratic and cubic graph past paper question pack. Let's jump straight into it. So on the grid, draw the graph x squared plus y squared equals to 12.25. So now hopefully you know that if you have an equation of the form x squared plus y squared equals to some number, it actually equals to the radius squared. Because this is the equation of a circle, the general form and, uh, of the equation of a circle with a center at the origin. So this tells me that the radius squared is 12.25. Obviously, you'd use a calculator for this. This was from a calculator paper. To work out the radius, you'd square root 12.25. And that's just 3.5. And you might have noticed I did this earlier. So I drew a circle, center at the origin. And for me, obviously, it's roughly about 3.5. It's not um, exact for you. Hopefully, it's going to look much and be more accurate on paper. So that's part A. Part B says, hence find estimates for the solutions of the simultaneous equation. The first one is the circle one that we got in part A. The second one is the linear equation 2x plus y equals to 1. Now this hence means use what the answer you got or the working out that you did in part A to help you get your answer. So this means they want us to use this graph in the circle. So this means that we have to plot this linear graph and we have to figure out the coordinates of the points of intersection of the circle and the line. And this is what we're going to do. So to plot my linear, I choose values for x, 0, 1, and 2. And I substitute to work out the corresponding value for y. So when x equals to 0, y equals to 1. When x equals to 1, I'm getting that y equals to minus 1. And when x equals to 2, y equals to minus 3. That was quick math for you there. So this means I am plotting the point 0, 1. So 0 across 1 up, 1 minus 1. So 1 across, 1 down. And then 2 minus 3, 2 across, and 3 down. So I'm going to join my points with probably the world's shakiest straight line. Oh my days, look at this. This is actually not bad at all, and it was freehand. Not bad. <laughs> so now let's figure out what the x coordinates of the point of intersection are. So one of them is going to be here, and the other one is going to be here. So I'm going to have two values of x. So I can say that x is equal to. I want to call that maybe one point, minus 1.1, 1 .1, the first one, the one on the negative side. And the second one, I think I can just straight away call it 2. So this is my minus 1.1, 1 .1, this is my positive 2. And there you go, that's my answer. I'll see you in a minute for question number 6. Bye!